my activity today that I booked is actually called a DIY sauna. Now, it's called a DIY sauna because it's a do-it-yourself sauna. So there's like no check, there's no one there. You essentially, you're like left to your own devices to start this, start the fire, and start the sauna on your own. I actually don't know what to expect, so I think this should be really, really fun. Uh, I'm a little bit early, so I'm just waiting to. I'm waiting to get in. I changed into my bathing suit at the library um, in the public washroom there because uh, I don't think there's a change room here. But again, once we get there, I'll get all situated. I'll show you guys around and uh, tell you what to expect. But I, I'm really excited. It was like 35 bucks for two hours. Not too bad, right? So I'm gonna go in in about four minutes here, and then uh, yeah, sauna time. So this. This is it. So because it's a DIY, everything you have to do by yourself. Luckily, there is kindling and wood here. I, yes. In the listing, it says you have to bring your own matches and uh, paper, like fire started. But luckily, we, they have some here. And I saw that they have matches, but I did bring some just in case. And in the event that there is no kindling or is there is no firewood, you would have to chop it yourself. But like I said, I'm lucky. There's stuff here. <laughs> Now that I have everything, I'm going to attempt to start the fire. Um, it's really muddy out there, so I took my shoes off, so hopefully I don't have to leave again. <sighs> Wish me luck. So, I've lit in a fire before. I know my time in the Everglades, that with, that, with that fire that I was lighting that completely went dead, was, that was, I don't know what that was, but she also sent instructions just in case. I'm gonna read them out. Start with a crumpled brown paper grocery bags, layer on top and handle handful of kindling, throw on a couple of starters, small waxy wood shavings. Put two logs on top, make sure the drawer at the bottom is pulled halfway out the air flue, blow to get it raging. Close the door, keep the heat in, it takes about 20 minutes to heat up to the optimal 70 or 80, but don't walk away from the fire until it's raging. Once hot, you can close the flue. Okay, I think I got this. Not gonna lie, having a hard time. On kindling. Exactly what I thought would happen. Exactly. As much as kerosene would make this so much easier, I am determined to get it. I'm determined to get it. I'm determined to get it. it just seems like it doesn't want to get hot enough. Come on, log. Oh, it was so close. Kindling is finally starting to catch. Attempt number three. This is a look of shame. Shame. Okay? I thought I knew I could start a fire. Obviously, I can't. And I have, like, the most ideal settings. <sighs> okay. Part of me is glad that this is a do-it-yourself because if the owner saw how embarrassingly bad this is, I, I don't even wanna think about that confrontation. I was able to find thinner kindling sticks at the bottom of the bucket. Um, so I'm gonna get this to go. If that's not roaring, I don't know what is. I am going to 
grave. The, the drawer. Oh, okay. I'm able to close the drawer. Oh, there you go. Did I just screw myself. We'll see. Yay! <laughs> you got it. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow! Okay, I'm going to have to learn how to make a fire. Um, yeah, because that, that was a little too embarrassing. And now I have to pee, but there is no bathroom. Oh my gosh. My dude is getting steamy in here already! Don't come here with the expectation of it being easy or having it done for you. It's called DIY for a reason. You know, like you have to light the fire yourself. Have confidence in building a fire. Like I thought I did and eventually I got the fire going, but yeah, that was rather embarrassing. What else? You have to bring your own towel and there is no washrooms here. So, you know, be prepared for that. There is a shower, but it's basically just a shower nozzle hooked up to a hose and you have to walk down to the house and turn it on and have a shower, which I'm going to do here shortly. It's a nice, affordable thing to do and it's something different. And that's why I really wanted to come here. It's like a fun experience to be had. Oh, shower time and then I'm going to head to the ferry. Uh, post note for the note is um make sure to spray down once you leave um they do ask that in the email um be sure to read everything that they send in the email it's all really really important and uh relevant as well as like i read a review um on google saying like this got a one star rating because it was like really muddy inside but it's april it's wet outside it is muddy have that expectation when you come but this is what i mean like in the summertime, that's probably not an issue, but any other time of the year out here, expect it. So just set the right expectations. I'm coming here. So hey guys, I've made it to the ferry. That sauna was much needed. I'm feeling so relaxed and really accomplished because I was able to get that fire done. Oh, well, I will be coming back to Salt Spring later on in the summertime. Um, I have a few activities planned, but they ha I have to wait until summer in, in order to be able to do those. It's only April right now. But uh, yeah, this is where I am going to leave you. I will have you know that this the ferry, the ferry ticket, is a round trip. So you pay one way and it's free to come back. Just so you guys know. And yeah, uh, thank you guys for being here. Um, I'll see you in next week's adventure. Bye. It's a sand dollar with barnacles. Seven nights. The right fashion lights. When the DJ singing, everybody out on the dance floor singing. Talking too soon? It's not lighting. Oh my god. Oh my god.